Today we're going to show how to make Safta's famous charosis. Going to make it in easy steps that everybody, child or adult, can make it and enjoy it at your own seder at home. Uh, here are the ingredients for my charosis. They're very simple and very few. Unlike other charosis recipes, I have a lot more ingredients. I have just the basics. We have dates are really important. Here I, you see I used the medjool dates that I had one package of kosher the Pesach and I took the pits out and chopped them a little bit. We have wine. We need red sweet wine for it. We have pears, apples, and nuts. The reason I put different kinds of nuts because Miri is allergic to walnuts so she could use almonds or filberts. The best nut for charosis is walnut, but I use all three types We mix them together. And if you have pecan, which I don't have, I would also put it in there. Any types of nuts will be great for your awesome Saftas charosis recipe. So we peeled all the apples, about five apples. Um, this is going to be much better if I had a food processor. If you have a food processor, you're better off, you're better off uh, putting it in the food processor, but not too thin. As coarse as you can make it. I'm just doing chopping it with a knife. And um, here are the five apples that I cut. And here are the four pears. I'm cutting the pears now into small pieces. Um, this haroset with five apples and four pears is just a guesstimate. The amounts are really not that important as long as you have the ingredients. The reason I'm making so much is because I'm making it for um, the Goldsteins, the Langsners, Sharon, I'll give her a little bit, and ourselves for the two star rims. So, Plus, it's delicious, so we like to eat it anyway, even if we have too much. So, so put all the walnuts in a bag, and with a schnitzel hacker or a hammer, we chopped it to little pieces. They were really big pieces. Adding them to the bowl. Doing the same thing with the almonds, adding it to the bowl. The filberts came already quite chopped, so we didn't have to chop them. Now we're gonna mix it all. Now, here is the tricky part. The wine part, use the wine just to add enough consistency to make it more like you know, have a, a texture that would lend itself to haroses that you could dip in it and the flavors. Right now I'm seeing that maybe I put a little bit too much fruit and not enough everything else, but I might have to add some dates and some nuts. But it's looking good, it's looking good. Let me show it to you. It's coming together. It definitely needs more wine. So I'm gonna open my bottle of wine and liberally add to it as needed. I will also add some honey, no sugar, because we have the dates and the apples, but I do like the texture of the honey. It makes it a little bit more creamy and yummy. And honey is good. Better than sugar. Now we are getting there. Needs to be a little bit more batter like, still a little bit too falling apart to be able to stick to, to each other. The dates will help us do that. They're very sticky. And if you can't do it with a spoon, don't hesitate to put your hands in there. It's yummy. 
Mix it, mix it. Now it's already starting to smell like haroses. Now we can add to it a little bit of cinnamon to give it a wonderful, wonderful flavor. Let's see if we have cinnamon. Okay, wash your hands. Where is our cinnamon? Here is our Pesach Dika cinnamon. a little bit and mix it again and again and again and let me show you the finished product here is our famous haroses I'm gonna taste it now to see if anything is missing mmm I would say it's perfect. I wish I could send you some. It's so easy to make. And this video is sent to you with love from Safta in Chicago. We're gonna really miss you this Pesach. And I'm glad I'm able to share my recipe. Enjoy. So since I don't have a food processor or even an immersion, um, blender that can work so we're just doing it mechanically and this is what I was this is how little I was able to chop it probably I would have been smarter if I used the grater before I chopped it and grated the apples but didn't think about that so but if you have a grater and you don't have a food processor use your grater on the coarse one so now I have little bits of um pears little bits of apples and now I'm going to use this big bowl to mix everything together. It's a really easy ep ep recipe. So here are the filberts. Here are the walnuts, which should be crushed first. I will crush them. Here are the almonds, which also should be crushed a little more. Um, here are... The dates, which I chopped really nicely, also in kind of big pieces. Here are the apples. I'm adding them all into the... main bowl and the pears. I'm gonna put a cup of wine into all this. Here's the red wine that I've been using. Um, I also put beforehand, which you didn't see when I peeled the apples, some lemon juice. It adds a little tangy, ta tangy taste, but it's also keeping it from getting too black. Um, now we're gonna go chop the nuts and then put everything together